Griffith. Be careful! He's very strong! Will you put up your sword? I see. now, would you, Casca? Uh. Enjoy the way you fight, my friend. You'd go to any length to defeat me. But now you can't wield your sword unless I move. I wouldn't mind if you'd rather postpone this. <laughs> you know you talk too much. Let me tell you something. In battle, there's only one way you should be using your mouth! <laughs> taste of your own blood. You struck a sound blow. But this, I'm afraid, is the end. Ah! Yeah! Now then, my friend, you have a choice. Admit defeat, or I'll be forced to dislocate your shoulder. Either way makes no difference to me. Now choose. I didn't need to think about anything else. To the victor go the spoils! Hey Guts! It's your first real battle! Work hard! Ha 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 ha! 
Watch your ass! This is not a swordplay lesson! Don't act like an idiot just because you got one! Step up, step up. Good work. Next. Gambino! Hmm? What is it? Look! Hmm. There you go. Well, keep up the good work. Huh. Yes. <laughs> what happened in here? Is it a raid? Guts, what's going on here? Don't tell me you did this. <laughs> Answer me, boy! <gasps> oh! What have you done? Wait a minute, this is not... Don't pay for this! Get him! What the hell's going on here? It was Guts! He just killed Gambino! You... you must be mistaken! No! It's true! Gambino was a father to him for over ten years and Guts killed him in his sleep! Why? Why did this happen? Where do you think you're going? You can't outrun us! <laughs> yeah! Did we get him? It doesn't matter. No one can survive that fall. Either way, Gambino can rest now, along with Shisu. I can't move. My body is frozen. Will I die here? A man draws his sword in order to protect the small wound deep in his heart. It was inflicted in the days long past, at the farthest reach of his memories. A man wields his sword in order to depart life with a smile in the days far ahead, beyond the reach of his memory. A kingdom in the west and an empire in the east, the war between Midland and Tudor has lasted 100 years. During the war, the death on the battlefield, known as the Hawks, increased their power many fold, fighting on the side of Midland. <laughs> Survivors? My God, what really happened in here? Griffith! Hold on! Griffith! 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 Get away. Leave him alone. It's your fault. You put Griffith in danger. You almost got him killed. It's because of you! If you think this man your friend, then know this. When you regard one another as brother, and this man's ambition crumbles, it is your destiny to face your death. You cannot escape your fate! Zod certainly recognized that thing. The Baylet seems to protect me from evil. I must thank that old fortune teller woman. I think I owe you my life again. Tell me. Three years ago, you said that you didn't want to lose an outstanding soldier. 
I am just a soldier serving you. But you are about to lose your life for me. A soldier. One of hundreds. It's not the kind of thing that happens to a level-headed man like you. So why? Oh, that. I thought we'd ended this discussion. And three years ago at that. There's no reason in particular. Do you really need one? Will you always be left doubting me when I lay down my life for you? Well, my friend, I want to ask you to kill a man for me. Kill a man? Who? The man who is next in line to the throne. The General of the White Dragons, Count Urius. The reason... is this. Hmm. This arrow was dipped in the essence of the highly poisonous Caligyl beam. No ordinary person would ever have use for such a thing. Only one man has purchased this deadly poison recently. He is the best archer in the White Dragons, a man named Hale. I paid off an attendant to help sniff out the plot. She reported that she saw that man come out of Urius's office this evening, right after he got a sound scolding from the General. This is an assassination. It differs thoroughly from fighting in battle. It's a dirty task, and you cannot be allowed to fail. You must not be seen, either. Because of the nature of this task, you are the only person I can trust. You have a choice. <laughs> this is not like you. You should just order me to do your bidding, without saying all that other crap. What the? An intruder! Besides, there is no evidence left. <gasps> 
For me to call a man my friend, he must be equal to me in all respects. Do you think somehow you've been chosen by God just because you're a nobleman? It was like a moment in a dream, unreal and divine. In his mercy, God had sent me a savior, an angel to defend me. And for a moment, that's what I honestly believed. But what the angel offered me was not the salvation I expected. If you have something to protect, then take up the sword. know if he fell on the sword or if I stabbed him. Either way, I had killed the man. The stranger just looked at me knowingly and smiled. It was then that I fully understood the true depth of the lesson that I'd been given. Griffith, we've cleared everything out. Uh, don't go! Please wait! What should I do now? Do as you wish. I want... Please, I want to go with you! No way. What do you take us for? We're not a band of thieves. We are collecting money and supplies so that we can raise an army. We can't be dragging women and kids along for the ride. You won't have to. If you teach me how to use a sword, then I'll fight. I beg you. I think she's actually serious. Even if it means your death. As I said before, you're free to do as you wish. You must choose which path to take, now that you know what it means to fight. It was so little. A sword and a blanket is all that he gave me. Somehow, I managed to make myself a soldier. By then, the Hawks had become involved in a territorial dispute led by a certain local nobleman. This nobleman was well-known and very wealthy. But he had an infamous and unsavory reputation due to his obvious preference of young boys. Officially, these boys were his hired servants. The truth of the matter, however, was he kept them to satisfy his urges. Their eyes were vacant and lifeless, filled with fear. I felt a chill run down my spine. Fear and hatred welled up inside me and I was overcome with disgust because I recognized in them what could have been my fate. It was the same hand that saved me then that he put on my shoulder that day. His touch never failed to calm my nerves. We saw many battles after that day. A young boy had joined us as a soldier. Griffith. What's that? They were the boy's belongings. Griffith? He so badly wanted to be a knight. I remember this boy well. When he looked at me, his eyes filled with wonder, as though I were a hero. Was he happy, I wonder? He died while pursuing his dream. 
But I think it was my dream that killed him. I've never seen a proud man's shoulders sink so low. Before that day, I had never seen Griffith depressed. That's more like it. Now you're acting like mercenaries. trouble, little girl. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll put you out of your misery soon enough. But you killed a hell of a lot of my comrades. And for that, I'd like to thank you personally. final bit of fun right before you set out for the afterlife. You should show me some gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. It doesn't matter whether you command a thousand men in battle or not. You were so willing to fight earlier. But now, look at you now. You're not resisting me at all. <laughs> I don't have the strength to push this bastard off me. I can't feel my arm. I'm so powerless. <laughs>
Don't fall too far behind. Uh, guts! of superhuman achievement from the battlefield, where stories get exaggerated. There is no warrior in all the world who can kill a hundred armed men with just a sword. The very most, I'd say he fought off ten. That is definitely him. The ruthless commander of the Band of the Hawks. What are you waiting for? It's only one man! Surround him! But sir! You cowards! He's been fighting with that huge sword and running up from the sub-dungeon! Look at him! He can't even catch his breath! You're no warrior! I expected more! Letting the enemy know you're weak is suicide in battle! Now I must teach you the consequence of showing an enemy your weakness. Follow him! They're late. Well, maybe the four of them weren't enough. Don't forget who you're talking about. They'll be back. Have a little faith. What are you doing here, trembling and afraid? Not over yet. Not until I reach the end of that cobblestone path. Oh! <laughs> 
Smogzilla, Sunday, 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 be there. <laughs> you know you talk too much. Uh, I should probably be saying something right now to you, Griffith, but... Uh... <laughs> because of the nature of this task, you are the only person I can trust. You have a choice. <laughs> Sorry. Besides, there is no evidence left. <gasps> Come here, me, me, me. Can I have a hug? I love you. You complete me. 